Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is me, Mysterious Cameraman, and today I'm going to be talking about Stranger Things Season 4, Part 1. Part 2 I'm not going to be talking about for a few months. Yes, again, I am leaving for a few months, but videos will still be coming out. But there are going to be videos that I'm making in June, so things like Thor, Love, and Thunder, Stranger Things, those are all things that I'm not going to be able to talk about until Miss Marvel as well. I'm not going to be able to talk about until... Like, in late August, early September. Which kind of sucks, but, like, whatever. And the cool thing about this is... This first part has good episodes... Really good episodes. And really eh episodes. And it's... Not that there any episode is bad. But it's very clear that some episodes are better than others. For example... The first episode... It's okay. It's not great. It's not bad. It's just a way to introduce some characters, introduce a villain. But it's very slow. <laughs> and in this episode, the biggest villain is actually the bully who beats up Eleven. <laughs> yeah, and then Vecna obviously is the main villain, but like we'll get to that. Episode 2... Was also another one of those, like, eh, episodes, but it is better. Like, this episode at least is better than the first one. It introduces, it, we actually get to see Vecna in this episode, and we also get to kind of understand it more than in the first one. It was an interesting little episode. Episode 3 was the short, it was, like, short. Ish. It wasn't short, but like... I don't know. Episode 3 kind of felt like it was setting up something really big. And I don't think we actually got to see what it was setting up. Until episode 4. But like... Episode 4 is amazing. So like, once we get to episode 4, it's going to be different. But like, episode 3... Not great. <laughs> it's like kind of that episode where we finally get the plot... And it took two episodes for it to actually realize that it's a real TV show and needs a plot. It's episode four that's actually really good. Because we have this whole thing with Mike and Will, which I'll get to the end, like, what the hell they, why they're even in the show at this point. But, like, with this plan, like, fight scene and being shot at and stuff, I don't get it. But, like, yeah, cool. It's like a fight scene. <laughs> Someone literally gets shot in Stranger Things. And my goal is that they actually find the Nina project and do something with it. Because, like, this plot line is really dull currently. <laughs> um, next, about this episode, it's like, I like how Max is, like, gonna die. Because, like, Max takes it very weirdly. And because, like, all those letters and stuff. And then there's the best scene in the entire show where he where Max runs out of the upside down and avoids getting killed by Vecna. That's the best scene in the entire show by far. Because the scene's just amazing. The best scene in the show. And then running out the outside down, it's just upside down. It's just a very interesting scene shot well. It just everything about it is just good and there's not many fan films i can say everything about it's good because that's not really a thing the next thing but like that final scene in episode four is so good where they're just running out screaming music's blaring amazing episode five is not that good <laughs> it's trying to deal with the aftermath of it but, like, it's decent because it doesn't really hit the same mark. And I could say the same about episode 6. But episode 6 is a bit different. I feel like episode 6 is a bit better than episode 5. And then episode 7 is amazing. It's not as good as episode 4 for me. I'd say episode 4, Dear Billy, is better than episode 7. But episode 7 reveals who Vecna is, which is actually not one... <laughs> And things like that, mm, it's long. But, like, it explains a whole plot. It, like, explains who Vecna is. 
in a good way, and, like, I like how when you see it's, like, possessed and stuff, and ends on, like, a good ending. Not many shows can end on that good of an ending. And luckily, there's a part two to it, because it's going to be an interesting finally thing for it. It's not going to be... It's going to be weird, and I hope it's good. Because I can't say much more about it, because there isn't much more to say. Now that we're done talking about the episodes, I'm going to quickly talk about my thoughts on so many characters. Vecna, great villain. Because it's threatening. And I like threatening villains. Nancy, fine. Robin, fine. Steve is, gets more characterization. I like that. Max, I'd say, is one of the better characters this season. Max has done really well. Eleven, fine. It's Mike and Will, which is the only reason I'm talking about this, because they're absolutely terrible. They used to be actually important characters, and now they suck. I hope they're better in the part two, because they suck in part one. (laughs) Besides that, I'd say part one is one of my favorite Stranger Things experiences I've had in a while. Yes, even though some episodes weren't as enjoyable as others, they they were very gory and darker than, like, Star Court Summer and things like that. So I'd give this, like, one of the better, I'd say. Maybe not as good as season one, but still really good. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.